What's up YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play today. I've got some more EU4. This is the Rights of Man DLC. We are playing as Westphalia. Last episode, we just finished our war with Cleves here, acquiring some new territory. So we are trying to core out these provinces currently. And we just gained a bunch of power in the Lubick trade node there. So uh, with my new merchant that we have, I'm going to send him to collect from trade there. We're currently making 3.26. And so let's see what that does. Yes, that gives me like an extra, God, two ducats. Over two ducats. However, my budget did just change to negative there at minus 0.06, but that's going to go slightly positive. The reason for that is we're currently sitting at six, um, six overall colonial maintenance. And so if I go, let's see, here, I can actually create a couple more units. So we're going to add one to our... European stack here, and then I'm going to build one here in Oldenburg to transfer over to the New World. So those will come out pretty quickly. Uh, I'm going to send him over with this fleet here. Also time to update our diplomatic tech to level 18, and I don't know why that just happened. There we go. Trade efficiency plus 20%. Uh, that's pretty nice to have as well, because that puts me up over the positive mark as well. All right, you, sir. Mepin is now considered part of our territory, so we get, we got the core here on that province. Nice to see that. Let's go in and combine these guys here. Like this. Provincial unrest, of course, happening in Cleves and East Frisia. So now we can uh, actually add these states to our holdings. Like that. Core, finish coring out like this. Now that should have added some additional income to my overall stockpile here. Yeah, showing it over almost two ducats a month there now. All right, let's go ahead and add you to the transport like this. And we're starting to snowball in terms of overall income for Westphalia now. And I'm going to drop you off here in the new world. Now hold on a second. Colonial maintenance still sitting at minus six. And so where is that other... I've got this one going, this one going. Oh, and this one going as well. Okay. That makes sense. Which one is the higher development? Definitely this guy here. So that's where I'm going to put my new stack. Okay. There we go. He has now arrived. We can actually invest in some admin idea there for economics, but I'm running almost a full tech behind in admin there. So we do actually need to switch that national focus over like that as well, just to have him catch up. So he's showing as a six there now. I've got my advisor sitting here at age 57, costing me almost two ducats per month. So, with that Diplo points, I think I'm going to use it for the for the finishing of the exploration ideas there. While we work on finishing out this German idea here, uh, yearly prestige plus one, which will be helpful because this is currently going down with that decay. So, Brandenburg, no, that's not going to be good for us. I'm thinking of taking the diplomatic power hit like that, just because... Uh, I can't afford to lose alliances right now. <clears throat> so if we take a look at Brandenburg here now, aggressive expansion was pretty heavy. Let's go ahead and send you a diplomat there to make sure things are all good with you. Unlawful territory fought to an end, improved relations, etc. Here with Bohemia, who has turned out to be very pow powerful this campaign. You can see them taking uh, a lot of this Polish territory with Teutonic Order actually being pretty strong here as well. Allied with Austria. Yikes. Okay, there, and then Austria allied with Spain. So if I take a look really quickly here now. Yep. Gain 10 naval tradition. I like that. Who else is Bohemia friendly with? Friendly with France there. 
What else can we do to please the French right now? Just got attacked on our settlement there in the New World, but we're going to take care of that really easily. Hmm. They're pretty friendly with Denmark. Denmark does not like me, so I'm currently allied with the people that like me the most, I guess. Uh, here we're about to have a revolt pop off in Meppen. So, let's move my 25 stack over like this. Just to catch them in the act there and destroy them once they pop off. Okay, going up to the university now. Very good. Let's maintain that diplomat over there in Bohemia for now. Austria gains diplomatic insult on Westphalia or lose the prestige. So, damn. Religious turmoil. 200 settlers arrive and form a new colony. Gain 50 population. I'm going to take the population in the existing colony for now. We'll recall the diplomat there away from Brandenburg. Damn. 400? Lose 10 prestige. And that religion changes to Catholic. So, really quickly, how much do the French hate the Austrians? They pretty much hate them. It's a negative 200 there. Yeah. Let's please the Austrians here for the time being. Because, yes, then I can swing around and then convert this right back over to Protestant. That is definitely the way we want to go there. Okay, that rebellion pops off, and we're going to... Yeah, nice. We're able to defend against that pretty easily. Maximum manpower now of over 41k. Let's, um... Losing money now. Oh, yeah, because we're repairing the current army there. Don't have any room, additional room to build regimental camps, it looks like. Yeah, we had one there. Shipyard and a church. Slot unlocked at 10 development there. So, let's spend a little bit of points, shall we, in getting this development up. Currently sitting at 9, so one more monthly production. That actually gives us the tax income there. That's good. Okay. New colony is finished up now. That's great to see. He has a regimental camp there as well. Okay. Military access from Wallachia. No thank you. Who's actually grown somehow and taken over Moldavia. Lose 10 prestige. Damn it negative modifiers and such. <clears throat> if I take a look here at Bremen, can we do anything about this? Austria would join in. France and Brandenburg would back me there, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Okay, we've got the next revolt popping off in Ostfriesland. So I'll move you up there to do that. And this conversion here in Meppen is about to finish out. Very good. Too few rivals. So currently Burgundy and the Palatinate. Where? Oh, Milan. Okay, we'll go with Milan there. Yep. Gain 15 Diplo power. Or I'll take the Admin, of course, because we're running behind there. Okay, time to add a final rival here. Hmm. I may go with Teutonic Order right here. Just to fill that out because... Yes. Because they border and threaten Bohemia and Brandenburg there at the moment. Found an East American colony. Okay. Let's try to go that way with it. Meanwhile, we're working up towards the next tech level here. I can actually invest in some additional ideas once that finishes up. Uh, our truce with Trier has ended. Very good. Friesland here now. Ah, they're allied with England, so I release them and then they ally themselves with England. Damn it. Which, uh, I think France would actually back me in the conquest of this province. No Casus Belli. Uh, Austria would jump into there as well. 
interesting. So let's go ahead and get a spy network up and going there for them. Offer vassalization. They would not take it, of course. So this one here improves my siege ability, which is nice to have. So we'll get that one. Plus 20%. And then we can get the Viceroy's here. Global tariffs, plus 20%. Very good. So Westphalian Canada now is paying me 2.4 ducats per month. That's nice to have. And we finished these colonies over here as well. That one is still working. I do have one colonist left that we could send here into the wild. So this province here with six development looks to be the richest. So we'll send you there. So he's got several, several provinces now that he's working on. Was following Canada. He is providing me that extra merchant with 10 cities. So that's always good to see. We could also work on some development stuff. Um, let's see, France is sort of the technological leader in the world right now. Showing at 18s across the board there. So I do think I have a little bit of extra time to invest into some development. Teutonic Order follows suit there and announces me as a rival. <clears throat> hmm. Denmark, Hungary. Let's go with Hungary. Okay, take the capital. Yes, yes, yes. Fabricate the claim here immediately on Friesland. Very good. Grant them privileges. I'm going to lose the Diplo power there. Just because, again, we're trying to catch up in the admin category. Making six per month there. Austria remains the emperor at this point. Still, wow, making tons of money now. Look at my trade and... Uh, Look at my trade value there. It's huge. Jelray here. We could actually throw them a diplomat. Stop building the spy network there in Friesland. Okay, Austria is still going to jump in against me, of course, because they are the em emperor. Damn it. We're going to have to pull the same move with that uh, pop up there and immediately convert Thurgen down here. So we'll do that. And then Catholic Zealots here. Yeah, of course, because I'm looking to convert. Let's park our 14 stack over there just in case. I can actually build another 6 force limit. Wow. Another 6, huh? He has one cav currently. He has two cav. We need some... We definitely need to build out some artillery. So, let's get the leather cannon going. I'm going to give this stack two. I'm going to give this stack two. And then, let's build out another two infantries there. Yeah, 41 out of 47 there. Naval force limit modifier. 16 Currently at 16 out of 29. Both of my existing fleets now are actually working on protecting trade currently. So let's double check the trade nodes here. I'm currently showing at 7%. 71 power. 13% belongs to Bremen there, of course. So combine you guys like this. So you have your nice juicy artillery going for you. These guys are going to come down here into this stack that we're forming. Awesome. So now you're showing us an 18 stack. Love that. What can we do to take Frankfurt here? 
Austria would jump in there as well. We do need to wait for Austria to get into some huge nasty war or something like that in order to make some additional moves here along the Dutch coastline because I'd love to acquire all of this sort of mop, you know, all of this sort of messy territory over here. Production, trade, trade depot. Can I upgrade? Yes, I can actually upgrade here. So, upgrading there for those. Oh, nice. Got some extra monarch points there. Coming back up towards full full manpower now as well. Gaining 339 per month. Cool. Bremen. Allied with Riga. Frankfurt. Man, I really want this province. Austria loves them, of course, so they would protect them in an attack. Probably need to fold down the forts now. We're not using them, and that's just eating up potential income. So this is going to go from a 5.51 to a 7. Love to see that. Lose one stability. Jeez. Okay. We still leave that at plus 2 for now. Fine with that. National unrest is at negative three, so we're looking really good there. Time to probably invest in some additional buildings here. 255 it costs me to upgrade these. Let's look and see what our inflation is. Zero. And I think this next round here, yeah, I'm going to let these techs roll up to 19. And then, of course, we're still trying to trudge along there with the admin power. So, anyway, can we build just some basic marketplace stuff over here? That's going to help me. For sure, that's going to help me in the Lubeckian trade node. Yeah. 7% power. But I should still be collecting a pretty penny off of that. Yeah, collecting over three ducats now. Here we go. The Rhineland one is probably one that I can change. Um, France. Whoa, France. Faithful allies requesting that you come to their aid in the French reconquest of Cal against England, finally. So they're finally making a move here. I, I definitely want to help out. Um, England is allied with Diego Friesland and Iroquois. So we're going to accept... And I'm going to take my 27 stack over to Friesland here and occupy that for them. Nice. Okay, so that battle should go pretty well. Iroquois, Sligo, and their colonies against me and my colonies. France France has colonies too, right? Yes, French Mexico is a pretty big one for them. Florida being held by the Spanish there per usual. I've got an extra merchant as well that we've got, so if I go over to trade, I do want to send one guy into the Gulf of St. Lawrence here and start collecting from that because we do have majority trade power here. Yes, we do. Me being the first and my colony being the second. It's worth almost two ducats there, but we've got almost a quarter total of that entire trade node, so not the biggest sea out there in terms of trade, but we're the biggest fish in that sea, I can tell you that. Alright, the battle against Friesland there went very well. My vassal's army there, Jore, took them out. Oh goodness, are we seeing a battle up here in the colonies now? Yes, oh god. He took out my 1,000 troops there. My colony only has a two stack here. Here comes another 3k. And the additional 2k. So if I go and try to help them out here with some additional reinforcements, that should let us win that battle. Perfect. Our reinforcements there were very, very imperative. This guy's going to go back over here now to finish out this colony. Or it actually... I send them over here because this one is actually show, already showing within 
my colonial borders. What's going on over here? Lost my navies. Fuck. Lost one navy. I lost my European navy there, protecting the Lubeckian trade nodes. So, that was because of the English navy coming over. Makes sense. Um, that did help out my legitimacy and prestige quite a bit there. But that's okay. Still have a truce here with uh, Cleves till August of 1636. So another three years or so. They're allied with Burgundy. And now Teutonic Order sowing discontent within my population, jackasses. Oh, time to pick a new idea slot as well. We're going to need to pick that very carefully. We'll see how that goes. Cool. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed my content. And we'll catch you next time.